Yes, for the average person, average 17 year old, I know this may sound a bit strange, but I have reason to believe we're approaching a cure. Something called gene regulation. But first I'd talk, like to talk a little bit more about cancer. By raise of hands, how many people know someone who's had cancer? Look around. That's nearly everyone in the room. We all have our own personal relationship with cancer. Mine, I lost a grandmother to ovarian cancer, and I nearly lost my own mother to stage three cancer in 2014. Watching my mom go through cancer taught me more than just the gravity and pain associated with it. It demonstrated that we, as of right now, can't escape it. Cancer surrounds us. This made me question, why do we get cancer? How is it arising? And what can we do to stop it? The answer, much like our own strength, comes from within. And I don't mean this metaphorically. What I mean is, the cure to cancer could potentially be lying right beneath the surface of our cells, in our DNA. What you see on the screen is a human karyotype. It displays all of the chromosomes in nearly every cell in our body. When these chromosomes are completely unraveled and decondensed, you're left with strands of your DNA. Our DNA is highly complex, but at the most basic level, it is a ph phosphate backbone connected by amino acid pairs. If a mistake or mutation is made in the pairing of these amino acids, major changes can occur. Ranging from small changes, like changes in our skin color, all the way to changes in the development of cancer. Changes of cancer, sorry. Um, there are two ways these mutations can occur. First, through inheritance. A few of us may be familiar with the inheritance of breast cancer genes. The second way is through environmental exposure, such as radiation, smoking, and poor diets. The link between mutations in our DNA and cancer development is maintained through a process of cellular division. Cancer is the rapid replication of abnormal cells. In normal cells, this process is called mitosis and is governed by two primary types of genes, proto-oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes. A proto-oncogene expresses a protein that works like a security guard, ensuring that each cell progresses through proper stages of mitosis without mutations or errors. But because millions of our cells are doing this all day every day, mistakes can be common. So the second gene, a tumor suppressor gene, produces a protein that ensures that all mutations or errors are corrected or destroyed. When cancer causes, when cancer, when mutations in our DNA cause cancer development, it's normally found in these two primary types of genes. A mutation in either of these gene types can prompt a cell to become the rapidly replicating abnormal cells that we call cancer. Because of this, the genomic cancer, sorry, because of this, the scientific community has become increasingly interested in the prospect of gene regulation. The central idea is that we could largely treat these tumor cells with a gene regulating therapy. By injecting certain restriction enzymes, proteins, siRNA, or vector-bound healthy DNA into cancer cells, we could theoretically reverse their negative effects. By inactivating the mutations, we would be turning off the proteins that cause cancer. Cancer has had numerous treatments over time, including that of surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy but none of which are entirely effective and all of which can cause long-lasting, damaging side effects. The relative information, the relative process of genomic cancer research has exceptional potential, but we must continue researching, learning, refining, and actively pursuing a cure. Thank you.